Hello everybody, and welcome to Nick's stream. Today we're going to be playing The Messenger on the Nintendo Switch. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's get into the game. Alright. So this game, The Messenger, is kind of like a, a Ninja Gaiden that's supposed to switch between pseudo 8-bit and 16-bit gameplay. Demon Army. I think it's supposed to be Metroidvania style Ninja Gaiden game. Um, from what I understand, I don't think it's level based. It might be though, I've never played this before. Okay, so it looks like we got Y is our slash, and B is jump. Controls feel really good. I'm playing with my 8-bit Do SN30 Pro controller. Best controller for side-scroller games. Okay, so it looks like if I jump and slash and jump again, I get a second jump. Only on these things, though. Hmm. This is tough. All we do is rot in this hideout anyways. Uh oh, we get some shaking, screen shaking. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. They have returned. This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out! Well, I'm the only one to get hit by a meteor, so that's pretty good. Let's talk to this guy. Don't go, you are not ready. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that better. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Forehead, two-armed, four-legged monster. Oh, and who might you be? Just your local ninja. Alright, let's see what we got here. Pathetic, prepare to die. That sound impossible. It's an eagle. He's bringing in his eagle powers. Oh man. Seems like luck is with you this day, Barthamazel. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Count your blessings, ninja. My mi minions will make short work of you in this autumn hills. Are you the western hero? Something like that? To be honest, I got here way too late. Okay, let's get into the game. skip? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like you can skip the dialogue, folks. You got the scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger tasked with carrying the scroll across this cursed world. Let's jump and slash and jump and slash. Bumpers don't do anything. Nothing else. Just jump and slash. So far it's a two-button game. I'm wondering if you're going to get some more abilities in the future that would occupy some more buttons. All right, it's evening. Autumn Hill, first level. Okay, let's go. Oh, looks like the update successfully downloaded. All right, we got a save in. Slash slash. 
Ooh, okay, so I gotta do my new move. Which is very difficult to do. Okay, we got a turtle. Let's see how my slashes do. They don't do that great. Okay. Alright. There we go. Oh, got hit. Fireball guys are annoying. Alright. I wonder if I eventually unlock a double jump. Everybody likes double jumps. Although you can jump pretty high without it, so... Okay, can you wall slide? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we went through a portal. Cool. Looks like we got a merchant. Ah, the messenger! I wasn't expecting you so soon! What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways... So I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the faraway mountain where the three sages from my order will be waiting for you. You got the climbing claws, there we go. Let's see if we can do some upgrades. Ooh. Energy shuriken. Don't have enough uh, money for that. What is the Strike of the Ninja. Karuta plates! What, plus one health. Alright, let's grab this. Let's get out of here. Leave. Let's get through the portal, now that I got my climbing claws. There we go. Back in the game. Game feels a lot more fluid now that I can grab onto walls, that's for sure. Now, like, good thing I bought that projectile slashing ability. That was the right one to buy for sure. I'm not sure if there's any hidden stuff in this game. Music's pretty good. There's a green thing over there. I wonder if that's health. Looks like. Little green worms. Okay, they'll fall in the spikes, which is nice. Looks like I gotta wait for this swing to come by. Very nice. I like how you can run and slash. It's always a good thing. It makes a huge difference in side-scroller games when you can run and attack in one motion without stopping to attack. It makes the game uh, a lot more fluent and quick. Save point, nice. If I fall down that hole, am I gonna die? Oh, you can swim apparently. Wonder if you can hold your breath forever. Can't attack in the water though.
I like how the, the audio muffles when you go in the water. It's kind of cool. The uh, music muffles. So this game was released physically by Special Reserve Games, and they uh, loaned out copies of uh, to Limited Run Games, uh, who they don't count that as one of their games. They won't, it's not numbered because it isn't released by them. It's uh, released by Special Reserve, but they do have their own custom artwork, um, which will be different than the Special Reserve version. Now, I didn't buy the uh, buy it immediately from Special Reserve. Um, I bought it uh, with one of their extra copies that they sell later when they get them in. Because uh, it, it came out the same time that uh, Limited Run Games put out Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. I had to make a decision between the two of them, uh, which one I was going to get. And uh, I decided to get Bloodstained. Uh, in retrospect, I should have got this, because uh, Special Reserve, they give you the, a wicked uh, collector's edition if you buy it, if you pre-order it right off the bat, where... Uh, where limited run, run games didn't give you that, and uh, with the blood stained. So, in retrospect, I should have got that. When you get the uh, when you get the extra copy, you don't get any of that stuff. You just get the game. This looks like these little crystal fireballs here are uh, are the currency in the game to get upgrades. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool game so far. So far I uh, highly recommend it. Controls are wicked. It moves very nice. Hey, you can't kill the bushes, FYI. It'd be cool if you had like a down attack. I gotta get a better eye for those. It's another save point up there. Cool if you can do a down attack just so you can jump on top of guys. But maybe that's something you unlock later on, who knows. There we go. It's a little bit tricky that attack jump off of uh, things. It's hard to get that. Oh no, I fell and died in the water. Let's see what happens when you continue. Oh, a new customer. B to continue. Whoa, what happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. But how? My name is Quarble. Quarble? It's your service. I'm the one you never would have met. Had you any skills? The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you're about to die, it will appear to stop everything. But what's the catch? So it looks like he steals your money until he feels uh, your debt has been repaid. Okay, so everything you pick up. So you get to keep everything you have, but everything you pick up he takes until he feels his debt is paid. It's kind of neat. That's a, a neat, uh, neat way of dealing with this. Oh, and then we died again. He wrote on his notepad that I owe money. 
So it looks like I'm gonna owe him a lot more money. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got past that part. Oh, looks like he's gone away, so that means I paid him back fully for dying. Okay, looks like there's a secret path on the left here. Let's see what this does. Got a save point and some uh, swinging platforms here. Alright guys, I think that's good enough for today. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you don't like what you saw, hit dislike. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because every time I hit upload a new video, you'll know. Have a good day.